I really can feel the others. I don't have that vessel. I believe you. I, I too don't have it. The only thing I feel is the gap inside me that I really wanted and I can't. Yes. And that gap is growing as you advance. How can I pray for the, the others if I'm feeling it myself? I don't feel them, I feel myself. How do I pray for them? First of all, let's do it this way. Let's set things right. The order is very simple. I am incapable of nothing. I am capable of nothing except for one action, to awaken the Creator. That too I can't do directly because I'm not connected to Him, I don't know how. But we are given a few principles by which I can awaken Him, by Him coming closer. This is called the reforming light. When I awaken or evoke this light, which is the upper force, the Creator, this light works on me and starts changing me, meaning both in my mind and in my heart. I start, I start to be more sensitive. I feel better where I am. My horizons broaden outside of this world. I, I start being more sensitive to things. And this is basically, it. it's all done by the light that reforms. No action of mine in itself changes a thing, only to the extent that I can awaken this light. As it is written, I've created the evil inclination, meaning the entire reality is only the egoistic will to receive, and respectively, there is the reforming light. I've created the evil inclination, I've created the light of it, because the, the Torah as a spice because the light of it, light in it reforms. What does that mean? That each time we desire to advance by the connection between us, so we, we evoke this light, it works over everyone, and out of me evoking it, because it comes to everyone, it also comes to me personally, to the one evoking it. But you have to evoke it through everyone and, and receive it through everyone. This is the way the whole system works. And this is actually the, the whole work.